A lot of art programs you may use have tools for drawing shapes, such as squares, circles, rectangles, triangles. And in Procreate, if you want to get a perfect square or a perfect triangle, it's really easy to do. You just use the quick shape and you draw it, it doesn't matter how rough it is. And at the end, you hold and then tap the screen and it'll give you that perfect um, quadru quadrilateral or circle or sphere. And touch the screen, there you go. But what it doesn't have is a tool to make a square or a rectangle with rounded corners. What I mean by that is something that might look like this, but a lot neater. So I'm gonna show you a trick for getting um, squares, rectangles, quadrilaterals with rounded corners today. First, I'm gonna clear this layer off and I'm gonna get a brush that's a little thicker now, um, the way I'm going to do this is using circles and connecting the circles. So first thing I want to do is go to my tools and go to my canvas. And I'm going to turn on drawing guide so I can kind of see where everything is. And you can adjust the drawing guide by hitting edit drawing guide and changing the size of the grid and all that. But that's not a video for today. Next thing I'm gonna do is draw a perfect circle. So I'm gonna draw a circle on that grid, hold it at the end, and then tap to get it perfect. So now I have it exactly the way I want it to. I'm gonna duplicate that layer four times. Then I'm gonna take the arrow or the move tool, and on the bottom where it says uniform, underneath of that, I'm gonna put on snapping and I'm gonna turn it on. And now when I, I'm just gonna turn on snapping, not magnetics. Now when I drag it over, you can see it's got those guides, but it's also snapping to those guides. So I could go all the way and make a longer shape. I'm just gonna go for a perfect square. So I'm gonna butt up the two ends of the circle next to each other. And I'm gonna to go to the other layer. Now, if I did turn on magnetics, it kind of locks it in for you. So there's not that jaggedness I had with that last circle. It kind of makes it just perfectly follow the guides. One more layer. I'm gonna pull that to the corner here. And now all of these circles are touching. And the corners of the circles not really the corners, but the outside are going to become the corners of our of our rounded rectangle or round, rounded cornered square. So I'm going to go to the top of my layers, make a new layer. I'm going to zoom in here. And I'm going to, from the middle top right here, I'm going to start there and I'm going to go to the circle on the left following the guide, holding at the end so it becomes a perfect line. I'm gonna do that to all of the circles. Now the more precise you are, like right there, I wasn't perfect, um, the less erasing you're gonna have to do. So now I have the basis of my um, rounded uh, square. I'm gonna take my eraser, I'm gonna make it big to start with. I'm gonna merge all the layers together first. I'm gonna go to my layers, squash them. And now with the eraser, I'm gonna use a larger eraser first to get rid of the big chunks, careful not to get that outside edge like I just did. I'm gonna make it smaller. I'm gonna zoom in here and erase. And just like with the pencil, you can hold and it will clean up that line.
process or the quickest process, but it is a way to get a nice um, shape with rounded corners that you could use as an app icon or something else you might be doing for a project. And once you're done, you can go back in and turn the drawing guide off. You can also turn snapping off. I suggest you do if you do a lot of regular drawing. And you can use that shape for whatever you want. Um, you could even take this shape, copy and paste it into other documents that you may need to use this kind of as your template. And then you can um, scale it bigger or smaller. You could turn on freeform and make it that rounded rectangle if those kind of corners work for you. So you can kind of use this as a template if you need to, or use that process to make other size shapes. Hope this video was useful. Um, thanks for liking, subscribing, and I'll see you next time.